where she sort of fits into this world because she seems like she's sort of halfway between the older characters. Yeah, that's and exactly where she is. Okay. And, and that's the role that she fills well because Octavia, you know, while she's her character is an amazing nurse, she there are certain things that that the kids can't go to her for and that she can't relate to them in certain ways. So Brittany sort of fills that gap. Not to mention she's very naive and, and is susceptible for the, to the kids' trickery. So. <laughs> well, is there sort of a danger that she becomes too close to the kids or um, either I, emotionally or professionally, I guess, either one? Yeah, I think it's, I wouldn't say danger. You know, I think with, with nurses, of course, there's a line that, you know, or in any profession there are lines you can't cross. But um, Brittany does fill sort of a role of, like an older sister type of role and um, I do think that nurses have a very different role than doctors and they ha they are sort of an, an emotional sponge for what's happening to their patients so um, I wouldn't say danger but but she does get very close to her patients. Have you done any research hospitalized to sort of get a feeling for what the doctor nurse patient relationship? Yeah, we we've visited a lot of hospitals, and um, you know the doctors the doctors have a lot going on. They have a lot they have a lot of places to be. They can only spend a couple minutes or so with each patient every day. So the nurses are really the ones that are there providing the other support um, that the doctors can't always provide. And there, and there seems to be sort of a hero worship thing going on with Brittany and with Nurse Jackson. Definitely. <laughs> what, is she, what does she see in Nurse Jackson that she wants to be? Well, Nurse Jackson is just really good at her job. And I think one of the things that she has is an, an incredible intuition. You know, in the pilot, when Kara's heart monitor goes off, or her, um, her buzzer, um, she knows that something's wrong because she would have pushed it twice. Whereas, you know, most people wouldn't assume that. They just say, oh, let, you know, let her go, whatever, it's fine. If in this situation we're talking about in terms of the pilot. So it's that intuition that she has that's really remarkable and that um, I think Brittany sees as inspiring. Have you been able to look at Octavia the same way to some degree? I mean, she's got that whole Oscar thing going on, yeah. so. <laughs> uh, she's definitely a great role model. She's so serious about you know, the way she works and, and about the role, and, and she's generally a lovely, warm person, very inspiring, um, and she stands up for herself and for what she believes in, and that is also very inspiring. Have you, have you sort of worked with actors before who you've seen sort of do the same thing? Where do you sort of take notes as you work with people like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I understudied a play in New York and um, Sarah Jessica Parker was starring in that play and she is an incredible actress and she, you know, brought an incredible performance to the stage every single night and then off stage she was genuine lovely human being who was so kind to everyone around her so it, it's Octavia is similar in that way she's very down to earth and she really cares about all the people that she's working with and wants to make a good working environment for everyone. Do you feel like you yourself have sort of begun to stick up for your own characters in the same way like are there things that you want to make sure you protect yes, about Brittany? Yes definitely definitely there are certain things where I say oh well you know I don't think she would use that word or you know I you know I'm concerned about it going this way and, and you know obviously I'm not writing the story and the writers have reasons for it for doing things but they have been really receptive to, to our thoughts and, and that has been a nice collaborative experience. Now there's sort of the two tiers of the cast there are the older actors and then the much younger actors where do you fit in and, and how does that operate? Yeah, it's, it's sort of strange because um, I am right in the middle there but we all get along really well and um, we're all great friends we all live in Atlanta together um, and so it ends up sort of being like camp, <laughs> and it really does. Though. So um, it's it's not as uh, marked as I thought it would be. The difference in age. We're, in the pilot, I felt it more because we didn't know each other as well. But now we're sort of just becoming a family. Well, but even at camp, you have the kids and you have the counselors. The counselors. So right. do you feel like you're yeah. a counselor? Or sometimes do you feel I'm like a counselor and sometimes I'm a kid, you know? It's confusing. <laughs> well, how is that sort of for you as an experience? I mean, this is, is, is this your first regular team? Yes. Okay, so how, how have you sort of been finding your way in these um, first few Well, weeks? the learning curve is very steep. Very, very steep. But 
um, in, but really incredible. Um, I think the the younger kids like keep us all young and they make sh- make us have fun every day. And but even Octavia is like that. Octavia goofs around all the time, and, but she also knows when to be serious and when to you know get the work done. And she I, I she's really just a fantastic role model for everyone. Tell me a thing or two about Brittany that you've sort of heard mentioned in dialogue about her that you're looking forward to actually digging into, things that you really want to find out about this woman. Well, I I really want to know more about, you know, what brought her to nursing and and that career because she it is mentioned that she followed her boyfriend to Los Angeles. So I think there's some soul searching that has to happen there. Like, okay, what am I really good at this? And what am I doing here? Did I just come out here and end up, did I end up here because I was following a boy? Or, you know, I think she has to figure that stuff out. And have we seen the boyfriend yet in the stuff you've been shooting? No, and he- I don't think we will see him. Ooh, it's just going to be sort of mysterious and off camera? Well, no, because it doesn't last. Oh, okay. Yeah. <gasps> so that's why I want to dig into that and see where she goes from there. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.